Oh, me faso latido. It was such a good idea to go to the movies after brunch. I know. I'm so glad to be back at the movies. I haven't been to the theater since I played the part in a student film where I go to get my popcorn and when I come back, my boyfriend's having f with a guy. I don't think that was a student film, Elizabeth. Brunch! I just love going to the movies. I still dream of winning an Oscar. I have my speech memorized. Kiss my ass, losers. Oh, oh beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love movies. Our heroes feel like the best part of us, and stories feel perfect and powerful. Heartbreak feels good in a place like this. Oh, oh me, Gerd, I just love that Nicole Kidman promo. It's so inspiring. Yeah, can you believe they only paid her $20 million for that? <gasps> what? Hollywood is so crooked. I wonder what bloated half hour of AMC previews awaits us. Speaking of previews, I'm so excited to see Colin Farrell playing Paula Dean and Sweet Home Racist Bama. I like it better when the ugly person is played by someone who's actually hot. Well, I can't wait to see the remake of Gus Van Sant's Psycho with Jared Leto playing Vince Vaughn playing Norman Bates. I love how the studios just know what we need. Well, I've already bought my tickets for Christopher Nolan's dark and gritty take on The Smurfs. Jared Leto and Colin Farrell take turns playing Smurfette, and Renee Zellweger plays Gargamel in a thin suit. Such brave casting. I literally cannot and will not wait to see Disney's live action version of The Brave Little Toaster. I hate calling it a comeback, but Lindsay Lohan as Toaster really butters my bread. Did you know it took over eight hours every day of makeup for her to play Toaster? Wow, was it a lot of prosthetics? No, she's just difficult. Speaking of difficult, I'm already teary-eyed over the documentary Glea Michelle, where Leah Michelle has to go apologize to everyone from Glee before they let her work again. Spoiler alert, she won't and she doesn't. And I would literally kill either of you for a time machine so I don't have to wait to see The Scent of Love. Jennifer Lopez plays a woman of an undetermined age who's the only person in her family who can smell. So when she wants to start her own perfume company, she has to betray her family's manure business. Jared Leto plays the manure and... Shut the f*** up! The movie's starting! Dazzling images on a huge silver screen. Somehow, heartbreak feels good in a place like this. AMC theaters. We make movies better. I take away something different each time. I am wet all over in tears. I can't wait till we see this again next week. Okay, bye. Uh, aren't you gonna watch the movie? That, that was, was the movie. movie. Yikes, I'm crying. Um, means a lot to me.